Today, my friends, we are back on another GTA update. It's been ages. This is very... I've got it in pink, I know, but I thought I'd get it in this color. It's very... Um, they've, they've even tried to make it look different at the back end. This is the new Corvette C8 or the Coquette. I, I don't know if people call it Coquette, but for some... As soon as... All right, let's just sh shut up and listen. Have a listen. Have a look. Sounds all right. Sounds pretty... Uh, it doesn't sound as meaty as I thought it would, to be honest with you. But I always thought it was Coquette. Because that would be more like GTA-like. Right, let's get this thing driven, modified. Honestly, the, the front end is a little bit different. Just like a little bit, not hugely. But the back end, yeah, that, uh, they even tried to make it any different there. So this car is very clearly based on the new C8. The C8 is ridiculously cheaply priced in real life in this game. I mean, according to the GTA market, it's quite cheap, but <laughs> in terms of actual real money, it's not too bad. Now, thankfully, this time, Rockstar gifted me 10 bloody million before I logged on to today, which I, I never thought I would receive in my life. I think my friend's got like 5 million or something. I think it's to do with the promotion, something to do with being on PSN. So if you've, if you've got PSN, I would uh, not worry about the price too much. Unless it's just a thing on all platforms, and I'm a bit of a baboon. Right, let's get over to customizing. You're not here to see it in stock. You want to see it modified. There's a bunch of new cars that have been added today, and this is the first of them that I'm going to... My camera is broken. This is the very first of them that we're going to be customizing today. That's right, I'm going to be customizing a few cars today, maybe a couple. So, I wanted to jump in with this one first, though, because it is just the supercar that you want to be playing with. So, we're going to move over to the side and get customizing. From bumpers, we actually have quite a few. I'm surprised. Oh, oh mate. I was worried that there weren't going to be many customization options for this. And I was just going to be like, holy crap. I, I hate to say it. You guys know I absolutely hate to say it. When people go, oh, it's a Batmobile. They say about any car. It can't. I'm going to say it. So we're going to go for level 4 engine upgrades. We're going for the exhaust. We actually get to change the exhaust as well. I was going to say, I'm not really keen on the exhaust. The rear bumper gets changed with the exhaust for some reason. This is the whole diffuser. Not the bloody exhaust. Fair enough. Oh. Oh, that is mighty, mighty fine. Then we got a uh, grill customization. It's going to be hard to improve upon this beast. Except by making it carbon, obviously. Or adding a little bit of primary color in there. That's actually not a bad idea. We go secondary color. And for the lights, it's just going to be changing them to xenon lights. I actually prefer the look of the normal. We've got multiple liveries, which we'll come back to. And we've got plate customization. Obviously, I'm going to make that black just because we can. We're in California. We're going we're gonna to do it. Respray. I think we're pretty much going to end up... Oh, we can take the roof off. Oh, come on. If you can take the roof off, I'm taking it off. Ain't no doubt about it. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Roof scoops. Are you joking? It's got roof scoops. Oh, Rockstar. This update is clearly made for me and other car people. <laughs> We're going to carry on through. We're going for the carbon fixed. vent and side skirt options as well. For a brand new car, this is actually awesome. Like, you wouldn't normally expect it. Oh, it's got wings. I was hoping, I was kind of worried for a second that it might not actually have any wings. So we can make the standard wing car, but we can make a little bit of a bigger wing. We can make it a pretty little big wing. And we can go for a nice wide wing that fits the car very well. Competition wang. And that is the biggest wang that we have. I'm actually going to go with the performance wang. I think it's the best suited. And then we go for the sunstrip. We can go for a second. We can go for a carbon sunstrip. Always we always confused me, the carbon sunstrip. Never in my life have I said, look at the fit. That's low. I kind of want a good fitment rather than that low. Because that is ridiculously, you know, we're, we're doing it. It's the first car that's actually been able to, to go that low, I think. At least supercar. Uh, turbo tuning. Let's do that. And we got wheels, which I actually kind of like the wheels. I'm interested to see how they'll turn out once we're done with the color. So I think it's pretty clear. Respray wise, we're going to have to go for like a normal metallic white. Or oh, the black looks like. The white on this car is one of my favorite colors. I've seen a few brightly colored ones, like a bright blue. Also very cool. I've changed my mind. We're going for the ultra blue. And we're going to go for a normal kind of... Let's go for a matte black. 
as a secondary color because that always just adds a little bit of element to it the wheels become matte black as well and that's the best color option for wheels because if your wheels get dirty people can't really tell liveries we've got a nice normal stripe down very very nice and we've got a white stripe, just in case you wanted that one. We've got the dual stripe. Imagine the next GTA needs to have a livery editor. And people need to be able to share them and maybe sell liveries. That would be amazing if they could do that. Since there's such a big car following in GTA, I think that makes sense. That black stripe is awesome. We've got a yellow stripe as well. We've got America! We've got Patriot. Is Patriot beer? Very cool. We've got this, which is just... I, I don't know. Uh, do I feel like a FIFA YouTuber today? <laughs> oh, we got this sick camo, which leaves a stripe of the color that you've chosen down the car. I've just realized the, the yellow on the lights. I've only just realized that. We've got the Pegasi Hunter livery, which actually looks pretty cool. But I highly recommend it on a non-blue car. I think we're going to go for this black stripe right here. That is pretty much the customization for this car. I expected there to be very little compared to what there actually has been it would be nice if we could black out the lights and do a few other little bits around the car i think changing the vents to, changing all the black plastics to carbon i think would be nice i think maybe i would like to be able to again in the base game i know you can do it through the editor i would like to be able to change the tires and put tire text and stuff on the stock wheels that would be nice for rockstar to do Surprised they still haven't done that yet. Right, let's leave. Oh my god, it looks so good. Is it like... Are these more detailed? Are they getting more polycount? I think that's what they did since they moved to the new generation of consoles. Yeah, the current generation. We're about to go to the new generation. Super cool, by the way, since we were last done videos on the game. It's coming out on the PS5, and I imagine well, we're getting the big new map expansions. For oh, it Does it sound nicer? I think it's changed the sound a little bit. That's quite cool. It's just a, just a little bit deeper, I think. So, this is definitely my favorite supercar in this update, visual-wise. I think it looks fantastic. I'm so, so, so happy that they added this to the game. It genuinely looks literally like the actual thing. And it, it, <laughs> some of the cars, they really try to make them look a little bit different. This one, I, I can't tell you that they have, to be honest. Obviously, you can remove the roof, which is something you can actually do on the actual car they already had the older corvettes in the game the older cockwet i'm gonna call it the car that's that's a, i genuinely think that is what the rockstar wanted to call this car i don't think cockwet is right you need to say cockwet because that's that's the rockstar thing to do but i'm glad that we've actually we, we got a new garage recently it was actually the uh the arcade garage very glad that we got that because we're going to be needing it for these new cars that just came out. There's a whole bunch of new cars that have just been released. And I guess uh, this is the perfect car to start with because it's brand new. It's just come out. Let's put it next to the bullet because the bullet used to... I, again, this is not something we really get in the UK, at least right now. I'm interested to see how it actually lines up to say that this 4 GT, this bullet, it's about the same size. So it's actually quite a small car. In my head, this car was actually quite big but it's actually not that it's not that big at all is it so we've got the engine it's uh, it's a shame i was gonna say it's a shame we've got some new benny cars that's not a shame in any light whatsoever i'm gonna change my mind to go off here and mess it up <laughs> but uh, when it comes to hypercars like supercars in this game it would be nice to have some benniness i'm so glad that benny's back so bending this on these cars, because the customization of the interiors, I would love to do an interior of a supercar like this. Spice it up just a little bit, because it does... Watch it, Range Rover boy. It does need a little bit of love on the interior. It does seem quite basic. I wish they made it more like the actual thing in the interior, with the actual buttons along the side, which I think is really silly in some lights, but I think it would be super cool to just have a, a little bit of a different interior instead of reusing the same interior for most i say most supercar there's a there's a few supercar interiors but they do change them out but i do wish they did it more quickly if that makes sense so yeah if you're gonna be buying a car I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say you've probably got the money to do so don't don't you worry about it 
they've been probably been given to some uh, given some there's actually some really cool cars on the cheaper end like 300,000 which I'll be covering over the next few days as well I think I'm gonna be pretty GTA'd up for a while but I think that is pretty much gonna do for this video it drives okay it's a little bit understeery at times but also oversteers when you drew when you do break the wing definitely helped because when I first when I first pulled this out without no customization it was just it was just doing that the whole time it's not the greatest drive but I think that's the point like the actual car the the, the actual C8 Corvette is not the best car in any light I know that it's cheap and a lot of power for the money. It's ridiculous amount of power for the money. Which is what makes it so good. And I think that's the idea that Rockstar have gone for here. Just ignore the fact that I am scraping through literally everything in the road. You can see, you can't even see the bottom of my diffuser. This, <laughs> it would be cool if I could actually scrape along the road. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one, which actually won't be very long from now. Smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.